All right, guys, welcome to our owner training. Today, we'll be talking about the automation um, side of owner. You guys asked and we listened and now it's available. Okay, so I'm going to be taking you through the steps of how to get it all set up um, and all the different uh, sort of ways you can have it depending on your center and your needs. Okay, so awesome. Let's get into it. First thing you want to do is just go onto the CCS section here and click this activate update details to turn it on. Okay. In true owner fashion, we don't force you to do automation or manual. You have the option to do it however you want, and you can even um, do both. So for example, you can automatically create invoices and you can automatically debit families, okay? If you only want to do one or the other, that's not a problem. You can do that. If you don't want to do either of them, that's okay. You can you know, manually create them as you have been up until now. There's no pressure, okay? Same as with the CCS for anyone that's new. You'll see that with CCS submissions, you can manually do it or automatic. So we give the center the choice, okay? So all you do is you come here to CCS, activate update details, and turn these checkboxes on, okay? One will be to create your invoices, which I think is referred to as billing, okay? And one is to debit your family, which we refer to as debiting, okay? Um, update that structure. And then what you'll see is once that's been activated under your family's family accounts, you'll start to see a few more things happening, okay? Now this sense already has it on so I can show it to you nicely, but as you start to turn it on, you'll start to see things like, you know, these little boxes and stuff appear which you wouldn't have seen previously. So the way it works is it's very simple. You set up the structure that you want the families to be billed um, so in, like as from an invoice generation point of view, are you invoicing them weekly or fortnightly? When are you doing the invoices and for what period are you invoicing for? Okay. Especially for those people that are billing, you know, in advance or in arrears, you'll generate your invoice in one particular week, but it will be actually for a different period. Okay. So making sure we set that up correctly and I'll walk you through the steps and then also for the number of weeks it's for. Okay. Currently we have from one to four weeks. Okay. So if you're outside that range, unfortunately, we won't be able to automatically generate your invoices just yet, but it might be something that can be considered in the future, okay? Awesome. So you can apply the um, automatic invoicing on an on a individual level or on a bulk setting, okay? I'll show you the individual just so you can get the hang of it. And then with the debiting, at least at the moment, you will have to apply it per family, okay? So... Um, a lot of you will be familiar, but you basically just click your account name here to go into that, that um, family's profile. And now you'll be able to see this new section here, billing dates, right? And even though we previously had this section here, it was doing nothing. Now it's actually working, okay? So as long as you turn on that automation and set it all up here in a moment, I'll show you how, um, it will all be you know, automatically running for you. One thing to note, even before we get into it, we highly recommend that even though the system will be automatically generating and billing your families, you're still going in and checking everything is accurate um, to make sure you're still on top of it, okay? We just wanted to you know, create this thing to make it one less um, task that you guys have to perform, right? But make sure you're still checking everything. All right, so from a billing point of view, let's, um, let's do the, the um, so this uh, setup here is for in arrears, perfect. So for anyone that's billing in arrears, um, this will be your kind of setup, right? your week would be higher here and it'd be for the previous week. For everyone billing in advance, it'd either be, um, if you're billing for the week of, this date here will be the same as this date. If you're billing for a uh, future week, this date here will be less than this date here, right? So for example, next billing date, this is when the invoice will actually be generated, okay? So I'm gonna generate my invoice on the 16th, okay? And the period it's gonna start from is the 9th, okay? Now. Is it going to be just for one week, for two weeks, for three weeks, or for four weeks from that point in time is where you select the number of weeks here, okay? So basically, um, if we wanted to bill one week in arrears, then you would just do it like this. For the period of 16th, um, so on this date here, we'll generate our invoices for the 9th, and it'll be just for one week, okay? Nice and simple. If you're billing like, let's say, for example, two weeks in arrears, you would start this on the second. So it's billing that week and that week. And then let's say, for example, uh, an example where you would do in, in advance. So if you're week of, right, this would be the 16th. Oh, sorry, that would be the 16th. This will also be the 16th, okay? So on the 16th, generate for the 16th, okay? For one week. Um, if you're doing it for a future week, let's say the 23rd, that's uh, on the 16th, we generate the invoice for the 23rd, for a week, for two weeks, etc. Okay, that should be pretty self-explanatory. Update the account. Awesome. So now we've done that one account and then um, that billing information will appear here, all right? 
Now you can do this on a bulk setting by scrolling all the way down to the bottom of your invoice uh, family account screen and you actually see all your families here, okay? So a lot of you will have scenarios where a lot of the families will have a very similar um, billing pattern, you know? All of these are my weekly families and they always, you know, get generated same period. All of these are my Fortnite A families and these are my Fortnite B families, whatever the case is. So what you can do here in this little checkbox is hold control or command, okay? and select all the families that apply to that billing pattern. So let's say, for example, I've selected these, I don't know, 7, 25, whatever families, and they're all going to be billed, I don't know, let's say in advance week of, right? So we're going to start it next week. So currently when we're doing this recording, it's here, 11th of um, August. So we're going to start it starting next week. So on the 16th, bill for the week of the 16th, and their weekly families, so one week. As soon as I click this update billing, all of these here will change. So... Let's just do Adams 2, for example. Let's make sure I didn't use mass. Yeah, perfect. All right. Um, and you'll see that there, 16, 16, week one, right? And then you'll go ahead and do your fortnights. Um, just reselect them from this, this um, little checkbox. So hold control. So that's a weekly family, so don't use them. Bob, Margaret, I don't know, Smith, right? And then you do that um, same period. So assuming that... It will be, again, for the week of, but instead of one week, it'll be two weeks, right? And you might have other people which are in Fortnite B, so they actually start at a different period, okay? So you can create that as well, right? And that's it. Basically, um, you'll be able to do that there. Can you select all... Okay, I've got a few questions. Awesome, let's see. Can the auto billing be amended at any time? For example, if family needs to change the timing. Yeah, perfect, Christy. Yes, you can, okay? And I will get into some scenarios where they're like one-offs. So pausing, debiting, and putting limits. I will show you that. But if you ever want to change it, you just change it um, from their account screen. So they were previously a Monday family. They got a new job and they get paid differently. So now they're Thursday family. That's fine, not a problem. Can you select all families just one click? Yes, you can, Edwin. Um, I'll show you in a sec. Does a billing date always have to be a Monday or can I choose? No, 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 you can choose any date, yeah. So um, billing date, oh yeah, good question. So, oh, you're talking about invoice generation. Okay, yeah, one sec, sorry, I got confused. So what you're saying is, no, 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 I think you can make it any day. So you wanna generate your invoices on, um, okay, good question. Okay, I, I've got this question here now. So someone's asking, can I generate my invoices, but I want to generate them on Wednesday instead of Monday? Yes, you can. Okay. You can generate them on any day you want, but the period starting will always be a Monday date. Okay. So anyway, the system doesn't let you choose anything else, but it will always, because you'll always be billing from Monday. Okay. So you can generate your invoice whenever you want, but you'll always be generating from Monday onwards. Yep. Not a problem. Um, Edwin asked, how can we select all families? Click the first one. Okay. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, hold shift, and there you go. You've selected every single family, okay? Nice and easy for you um, to create that billing pattern there. Awesome. Any other questions on how to get it set up? Okay. Um. That's more maybe a specific question. What I'll get you to do is maybe just reach out to us individually, Ashley. Um, we'll look at your specific situation and we can set it all up. Um, if you want to send me an email, um, you know my email already, um, and I'll help you help you out specifically and we can get it all set up. Awesome. I was notified of your situation before. No worries. We can get that sorted. That's fine. All right. So is everyone okay with how to set it all up? Yes. If you have any questions, let me know, but basically I'll move on. So now it's all set up and the system will just perform its job. So it'll be doing everything on the background, okay? So for everyone that's um, been doing this for a while, where you are you know, manually generating your invoices here, right? That's now taken care of by that billing section, okay? Um, so just to reiterate, that's this section here, the billing date, right? Um, so this part here, and then where you are actually clicking the debit now button, that's this part here, preferred debit date, Monday, okay? Now let's talk about timeframes. So on Monday, the automatic um, invoice generation will happen from 11 a.m. onwards. And basically everyone will just get slotted in. So let's say we have, I don't know, 100 centers to do on Monday or whatever the case is, everyone will just get slotted in from 11 a.m., okay? So sometime from 11 o'clock onwards, your invoices will be generated. And then there will be an email to let you know that yes, your invoices have been generated, okay? Um, 
then what will happen is uh, on Monday, right? Every other day we do it at nine from 9 a.m. Okay. The reason we do it from 11 o'clock onwards is because of the CCS payment report. We just want to make sure that um, we give it the most chance that all the CCS payments have cleared from CCS aside, that way then they can load on the accounts nicely and there's no CCS issues there. All right. Um, so that makes it nice and easy for you guys. And then when it comes to debits, that's going to happen from 2 p.m. onwards. Okay. So with anyone that's set up their auto debits, you will now start seeing a little tag here, which tells you when they're actually going to be debited. Okay, so invoice has been generated, whether manually or automatically, and then they will be debited on the 13th. So this particular family on the Friday, right? Um, and whatnot. All right, quick question. Can you set up the auto, auto billing before you have family account details? Um, Christy, you probably could um, because it's there, right? Um, so that's not a problem at all. However, you will, um, however, with your, what was I going to say? Can you set up auto billing before you have family account details? You probably can, right? However, if you want to give parents the ability to choose their days and, you know, frequencies and whatnot, under this activate update details, you can come and click here, allow parents to choose frequency billing days, check to allow it so that when they actually fill out their DDR form on the app, right? Let's just do it quickly now. Check to allow it update um where are we here so when the parent comes and fills out this um, ddr form for everyone that's new i will be going through all this um later um they actually can prefer it's like se select it here okay so as soon as they select it here it filters back into your system all right awesome will parents be notified automatically good question yes they will so once your invoices have been generated the parents will be notified um so invoices and payments so basically all the step, all the clicks that you used to do in the past, they have now been automatic, right? So when we had to automatically generate our invoices here, that's automated. Once invoices are generated, they automatically appear on the app, okay? So always note that. If you let your parents know that your invoices will be generated Monday, uh, Monday night, they'll be there, okay? So you don't really need to notify them per se, but the system will still be sending out that notification anyway, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, with automation, it will notify your families. Invoices are available on the app through the app, okay? Uh, Rachel, it all happens through the app. Um, and the reason we get, we get asked this a lot, why don't we email, why do we keep everything on the app? We can track it all. Being on the app, we can track it all. Um, I can't show you here, but we can track who's looking at the invoices. We can track who's seen it. We can track who's, um, you know, basically, you know, viewing it and whatnot. See here, you can see like parents are actually viewing it. So we keep everything within the app, okay? It makes it nice and easy. Keeping in mind as well, guys, that parents do have access to the owner portal, all right? So it is the same, just really quickly, it is the same um, link that you guys use. So if you want a nice little link, this is it here, owner.com.au forward slash parents, okay? But it is the same exact screen that you guys use to log in from, okay? Parents can log in on it. I'll see if I can try. Let's see if it's saved. Perfect. Parents can jump in on the parent portal and still see all their invoices and, um, you know, statements and whatnot. So they can use this um, as well, all right? Good question. All right. Do the parents just get notified through the app? Yeah. If parents turn off notifications, they don't know if the invoice has come in. Yeah, fair enough. Look, Rachel, um, I do understand what you're saying, but yeah, with notifications off, then I guess that's fine. But again, if your invoices, will, because you're going to be automatically setting this up and it will always be generated on a particular day and it will always be invoiced on a particular day, you can just let those families know, you know, for example, someone was asking, how do you select everyone? So if everyone's on the same cycle, you just tell everyone on Monday, all of your invoices will be generated, right? So whether you get the notification or not, or whether you get the notification or not, you've turned it off or whatever the case is, you can still go on the app and look at it, right? It doesn't stop you from seeing it, right? The notification is just like a little prompt to let you know, hey guys, in case you didn't like, haven't checked yet, they're available now. So when they go here, they'll be able to see their latest um, you know, invoice. So it doesn't stop them from seeing it, if that makes sense. Yeah, awesome. Cool, I think that covers everything. Does anyone have any questions on that? Did I talk about timeframes? Yeah, I think I've talked about everything. Um, how it works, the timeframes. Yeah, and then what we are saying before with the debits from 2 p.m. onwards, those will be uh, then processed, right? So then these will all go into processing as normal. Cool. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to stop the recording. Um, anyone that, um, you know, already knows how to, you know, invoice in CCS, 
thank you so much for jumping on. Um, I hope that's been valuable. If you need help setting up your system, reach out to our team uh, and we'll be able to help you guys out, okay? <clears throat> Thanks, Peter. Talk to you later. Okay, awesome. Um, anyone that still wants to stay on for the, you know, general, you know, overview of how CCS and accounts and all that works in owner, stay on and we'll um, continue from there.